I'll be talking through how to integrate a machine learning model into a web application. So generally, we as data scientists, we work in the Python environment and we use a bunch of um, packages and we work in Jupyter Notebook and all our um, analysis, findings, exploration, all are within um, the Jupyter Notebook and the Python environment. What if we want to expose this into a web application so that the, these models can be consumed by end users and also interacted by them so that you know maybe they can change parameters or such. So for this I'm using a tool called Flask which is um, a, a package in Python which will help us expose Python methods as REST APIs which that can be consumed by the web layer from JavaScript. So if I go normally we would um, so I'll just walk through how, if we were to do this in um, in a Jupyter Notebook, what we would do is we would just write code in cells, execute it, and we would see results there. But in, in, in order to put this into a web application, the architecture is slightly different. What we would do is we create a, a Python file. So here I have a, a movie classifier file and a, a two little methods called classify and train. So in classify, basically it's just regular Python code, which takes our input, does this, um, classifies the text as for sentiment analysis. And, you know, I return the, um, the results and probability. The, but the way this is integrated to the web application is I have an API file, which is where I use um, Flask. And if you see, I have a endpoint called classify review. And what this is, is it, it creates a, an instance of the movie classifier and calls the classify method, passing in the arguments it receives um, from the REST API, does the prediction and returns it back to the user. So the way it, this would be consumed from the web app side is I have this method called classify movie review, which would in turn call the REST API classify review, passing the arguments. So now let's see this in action. So I have this little app. Um, there's basically two functionality, this text summarization and sentiment analysis. So if I click sentiment analysis, I've already um, tested this a little bit. So if I add another review, I really like this movie and I say save. What's actually happening is when I click the save button, it's going in, it's saving into a database, but at the same time, it's calling our classify method which we just saw in this Python class and um, so we have a pre-trained model already so it passes the text into the pre-trained model gets me my prediction my probability returns it back which is sent back through the rest API classify review which then comes back to my front end and I say this review is positive with a probability of 69.479 now I go back another example of text sum summarization. So here I've, I've already um, pre-summarized some of the text. So if I go into one of them, I see um, the original text is what I've highlighted here. So let's edit something. And so I, I'll change a parameter. So this is how you can actually have your users interact with our models. So here I said we needed a summary of 300 words. So let me make it 100. I click save. What's happening behind the scenes is it called a method and Python and came back with a summary of just a hundred words. So in in this way, um, you know, both these examples were really simple, but in this way you can actually, you could write any model in Python um, as Python classes and expose them as um, REST APIs, which can then be consumed from the web front end and you know you can basically create apps which can do any kind of machine learning ai stuff